Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. That's Trevor. And today, we have a fun little deck for you. But before we jump into it, we go to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it. And the link will be down below. With this fun little deck, now it might seem like we have two colors, <laughs> but we actually don't. But we'll get to that in a little bit. The deck is called The Horror. And it's, it's just basically a bunch of golems, though. But with a little twist. And our champion is Poina, Immoral Conjurer. And of course, her little ability is when you destroy a tower or unit in battle, place one counter on her. And when you remove three counters, you make a golem, which is a 1500. And that is too powerful. Yeah, and she gets ridiculous. Yeah, super ridiculous. Especially when you just start killing dudes and all this. And also put counters on her without doing that too. Yeah, like it makes it so ridiculous because she never really loses any, any value. value. I mean, yeah, you lose a couple of dudes, but you replace them in the late game. Exactly. Now, we do have the Spear of Urvatovas. And not because we need the red, but we need his little ability, which is amazing. Yeah. Exhaust, pay two. Target unit gets plus 1,000 this turn. So Okay, thank cool. you. And if the cost was four or more, which is not that difficult, it gains Destroyer with this turn. You don't have to sack the dude either. It just happens. And you can Soul Burst. All units you control get plus 1,000 this turn just in case you need to somehow overrun your opponent. Yeah, pretty much. This dude's kind of ridiculous just for his ability, and that's what we're doing. That's exactly what we're Pay doing. Pay two, that dude gets angry yeah. and does not like you. He does not like you, and that slightly bigger dude, he <laughs> doesn't like you twice as much. Yeah. Of course, the first one is Fel Golem, number one. Uh, he's a one-drop, 1,000, and he has Runt. Uh, you send one Golem unit from your deck to the discard zone. That's it. He's really pretty good for a one-drop golem because he can kill towers and he can find you things to put in your graveyard to do things with. Yeah, exactly. Next up is the failed golem number two. It is one for a 500 and it arrives. You put a counter on your champion if she is a Hoena. So one mana you get a dude to scout towers and you get a free counter. Yep. Solid. And even then with the bear, you just on turn two, you tap him to make him a 1500 and you kill a tower. Yeah. And hopefully it's a red tower. So you immediately just wasted everything. The next one is Golem of Devourment. He's a 2-drop 1,000. He looks pretty metal. He has a Guardian. And uh, he cannot deal damage, so therefore he's just good for blocking. But when he has, his, he has a Ruin Trigger, put a Golem of Devourment from your deck into play. So it's just continuously just blocking. Yeah, so that wall of Golems, you have to eat through it first. Oh, yeah. Next up is Golem of Jealousy. It is 2 for a 1,000 unit, and he arrives. If you control another Golem unit, draw one card. Thanks. Two mana draw card, I'll take it. Yep. The next one, Golem of Avarice. It's a three drop 2000, which is very strong. Arrive, if you control another Golem unit, discard one random card from your opponent's hand, which is also really strong. Yeah. Discard in, in general it can be really, really strong in a game like this because your hand size is kind of low, so it really does help. Yeah, and every, you know every card in their hand is going to actually be something to get rid of for yeah. sure. Next is Nob the Shadow Guardian, which is, in my opinion, one of the best of the darkness of the tower dudes. Yeah, he's one of the best ones. He's four for twenty five hundred Guardian, and he arrives if you destroyed if there is a dark destroyed dark tower target unit gets minus two thousand this turn. So he can come into play and kill a dude, and then Guardian away something, and kill and another then dude. The next time he gets to swing, you're like, cool. He's now thirty five hundred. Kill yeah. your towers. <laughs> Because you, you use Ursa on him and he gets Destroyer. So he's like, kill that tower, kill that tower. Yeah. Thanks. And by, yeah, he's a 3,500 too. Like, <laughs> you can just have him block all day with yeah. Ursa. Just like, all right, 3,500, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Man, so great. Uh, we'll, we'll let you talk about your baby girl. All right, so Waifu, if you saw her review, you saw it and it was funny. Yeah, but Hoena, the horrific perfection. She's four for 3,500. She's an Omega unit, so you have to play her from your hand. And it's Omega cost thing is you place on one of your Golem units. So Simple. it has to be put on a Golem. Uh, and then she has Offering 2, Sacrifice another unit, draw a card, and your opponent discards a card. Use this only once per turn. Gross. And it's once per turn. Your turn or theirs. So, mm -hmm. solid. Yes. Uh, and then Offering X, destroy target unit or augment with it. Cost X, use only once per turn. Again, once per turn action. And they're on separate lines, so you can do both on the same turn. Yeah. You just got to pay the offerings, which is what you want to do. So you remove the dudes from your yard, however you want to do it. And you just get to be like, hey, cool. Kill that. Discard a card, draw a card. 
Yep, let's do this. Exactly. And with the offering of just like one of the strongest dudes is the one drop or two drop, you're just like, get rid of two dudes that are in the graveyard, yeah. of course. And bam, kill it. Simple as that. Super strong. Yep. Ridiculous. And the next card is a five drop, a Golem of Arrogance. It's a 2500 arrive trigger. If you control another Golem, Golem unit, your opponent sacrifices a unit, which is super strong. Then if they have more cards in hand than you, they discard one. Thank you. So he's there to help even out the field. It, it sometimes is useful on the discard, but it's not really the main purpose of it. Yeah. Next up is the Catastrophe Demon. He's five for a 3,000. He's got Destroyer. Your opponent's units and shards come into play exhausted. Thanks. Thanks. Let's make sure that you stay slowed down. Yeah, at least. So this totally wrecks any kind of Guardian because they automatically come in exhausted. So you're like, cool, my turn, swing on your Guardian, kill it. Yeah. Or swing on that dude because I want it dead because my dudes can. Like, not the ones you play, they still are sick, but yeah, the other dudes you can have can just be like, hey, cool. And it stuff. puts yeah. them down a turn of shards. Yeah. Like, that's just, especially if you go first, their turn five is nothing like your turn five. Yeah. So It gets pretty gross. Yeah. Really, really gross. The next one is uh, Interdimensional Horror. And the art is amazing. It's a six drop 5,000. Yeah. It's a mega unit, though, for demons. Place on two of your dark units. So you have to t have two units. But with Hoina, with all these Golem units and stuff, you're going to have units on the field. Yeah, no you're going to have two dark units quickly. Of course it has to have Destroyer, because why not? And put a unit from uh, under this card into the discard zone and just declare a card name. Search your opponent's discard zone, hand, and deck for any number of the cards with that name and expel them. Neat. And you can do this twice since you have two of them. Yeah. That's uh, insane. So if this dude is in play, yeah. you could just start eating their deck. Yeah. Because by the time you play this guy, you're going to already see like two or three cards that they have. So you just take a mental note of those cards and you're like, cool, I'm going to choose this card and eat all the other copies of that card. Yeah. And the fact that you can do it twice in one turn, it doesn't say like once per turn or anything. You're just like, well, these two units, throw them in the graveyard because yeah. we don't need them. And then bam, well, what, six cards of their deck is probably gone. Yeah. Next up is Revival of the Sun. It is X. Put target put into play target unit with cost X minus one from your discard zone. So you gotta make sure you pay correct for it, but you get a dude back from the graveyard. It cannot be an Omega dude because they have to be played from your hand. Yep. But you still have a lot of really good targets because this card of targeting a nope. Yeah. Returning a nope from the graveyard is one of the most ridiculous things and hard to deal with things it's, in a very long time. It's very annoying. Yeah. Very, very We've annoying. both had to fight that and it just sucks. Exactly. Now, this one is returning champion, it is a delayed poison. We've uh, resisted using it for the longest time, but <laughs> yeah. why not use it again? So you equip to target unit at the start of your next turn, destroy that equipped unit. When In this game, if you equip it, augment to their creature, which it will, then basically it becomes theirs. So at the beginning of their next turn, they have to destroy it. So immediately, gone. For one, for one shard. Next up is Omega Magic Yami. It is two for an insta-cast spell. Choose one, or if you have two towers or less, you choose both. Target unit gets minus 1,000. Or return a unit three or less from your discard zone to your field. This card is really, really strong. It it gives you both what you want, either a kill spell or a return spell. Yep. And you gives, it gets you board presence or kills. Yep, and sometimes both. Yeah. All right, the next one, of course, is Dusk Strike. It's a two-drop insta-cast. You may play this card only if you control a dark unit, which you always, always will. Target unit gets minus 2,500 this turn, which kills pretty much everything. Two mm. mana, I shoot that board. dude off my board. Yeah. Next is the Hidden Laboratory. It is two for an augment. Arrive, you place three counters on your champion if it is Hoina, and then you can exhaust, sacrifice a golem, draw one card. Yeah. So you get to use your golems after you've scouted out their towers, the little failed golem too. Yeah. And you can sacrifice it to that to draw a card and then eat it with Helena to do other stuff. Exactly. And the fact that you can also, if they swing in to attack your dudes, you can be like, all right, well, sack yeah. them, draw a card. Cool. Thanks. It's ridiculous. The next one, it's a new card, Helena's Wrath. It's a six drop spell. And this card costs two less to play if your champion is Helena, so it's four. Put into play two Berserker Golem tokens, which is 2,000. Then each non-Golem unit gets minus X thousand this turn. And X equals the number of Golem uh, units you control. So overpowered and broken. Yeah. 
I will put in two play two dudes and then kill your board for at least minus two. Yeah. At very minimum, minus two. Very, very minimum. And also it costs four. Yeah. So enjoy that. Yeah. Seems really strong. So I can't wait to wait to die from that for sure. <laughs> and of course for the shards, we just have the basic uh, Argent shards and Corona as well, because why not? Uh, too soon? I don't know. We'll see. Legendary shard. Exhaust. Flip your spirit face down. Destroy target unit. It's just super great. Yeah. I mean, you need to... Sometimes you just need to get rid of that shard that's in your way. Or that... Not shard. The, the dude. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. The dude. I was that green shard. But anyways. Uh, anyways. But yeah. With, with this ruby, just destroy dude as quickly as possible. Yeah. Alright. It, it's just one of the best ones to use because it literally is a free kill spell. Yeah. At any time you need it. If you, as long as you have it in play, you're like, cool, kill that dude. Yep. Thanks. Exactly. And you don't need your spirit because you're not really needing it for much unless you want to just overrun them. Yeah, exactly. Just, just for for just for giggles, pretty much. Mm -hmm. But that, that is the deck, and the list will be down below. Uh, hopefully you enjoy our brawl with it, and hopefully you enjoy your stay here at Geetopia Island. Bye. Later. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.